I'm here at uh, Mark Swanson's place, EFI Express. Um, he just did a test rip with Mike Furlan's skimmer. He has a Nietzsche 5.3, or at least thereabouts. We have done a couple things differently, and we're looking at the results. Um, one thing, let's see. Mark, what am I looking at here? Where's the horsepower thing here? The horsepower is this number right here, which is 617. Okay, I don't know if that's zooming in. There we go. Oh, no. There it is, 617. What's the one on the bottom? Uh, that's EGT, which is not actually hooked up right now. Okay, so, so that's not a problem. What, nope. else, what else am I looking at here? What should I be All right, at? so torque at this point is also in the lower right, which is 788.9 foot-pounds. 788. Now, where am I looking? Right, right there, that figure. So let me do this. That's pretty good torque. Isn't that like diesel type? That's diesel torque for sure. 788.9. Yay, yay, yay. And, uh, Mike, what does this thing weigh? 27 would mean to see. Uh, go on a diet. 2,700 pounds. Wow. Well, that was before this aluminum model. Okay. And what is that 13 zero? That's the AFRs. We're actually running a little lean. Air um, fuel ratio. Because our uh, our Bosch 044, which is a fantastic pump, is just having a hard time keeping up with this kind of flow. Um, so uh, to, to continue with this kind of boost and this kind of torque and horsepower, he's going to need uh, either two of them or a bigger pump. Okay. And that sounds like the problem we had with the Pit Viper last year towards the end of the year. We wind her up, go under boost, and pop, 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 pop. Um, and as you said, Mark, you got us out of that problem by running two 044 pumps. Now we have plenty of pressure, plenty of volume. Yeah. So, all right, so what's the next step? Uh, the next step from here for, uh, for this particular test is we're going to go ahead and refit a different wastegate. We're going to fit a 10-pound wastegate so that we can uh, test again and have consistent fuel pressure so that uh, he's going to have a good service life out of this engine. Okay, and then Mike will be ready for Vermonster. Yes, sir. In all of its glory, we're going to take a look at the Nietzsche 5.3. Um, what makes this one kind of unique? Uh, it's definitely the Nietzsche design. But it's an all aluminum 5.3. We took an L33, which is kind of a higher compression one, and put the Nietzsche can in it. Uh, we did lower the compression a little bit. I believe we used 799 or what is it, 241, 243 heads. Uh, there's the venerable GT35 made in communist China for $250, $260. Imagine that, all that horsepower with that little thing. Okay, well, stay tuned. We'll be doing some more dyno rips, and uh, you get to hear that wonderful sound.